Now this is an area that's very confusing to both physicians and patients. You know, back in the day in the 70s we learned how to do liposuction which was taking a cannula and putting it into the fat and sucking out fat. We then learned to put in fluid. This is called tumescent anesthesia or tumescent fluid which takes those fatty layers and brings them from a smaller amount to a larger amount. It also leads to less bleeding and less bruising and a much safer approach. But as technology advanced we moved to ultrasonic liposuction which is a cannula that vibrates at a very high frequency and it cavitates or causes fat cells to disrupt. And that was a very interesting technology, but in fact it caused some burns and some, and some seromas, and this led some people to abandon this technology. The next generation of this was something called VASER, which is a pulsed ultrasonic technology, which I really like to use for very fibrous areas in secondary liposuctions and in gynecomastia. The confusing portion is now we have VASER and laser lipo and radiofrequency liposuction. Well, how do you choose? Well, I like laser liposuction for small volumes. I love it for removing some little bit of fat in the neck. I also like it for small pockets of revision liposuction. So that's what I use laser liposuction in my practice. In addition, I do some abdominal etching. For those bodybuilders or those people who are really fit, who just want that little extra bit, I use the laser fiber to bring down the, etch bring down the lines and create deeper cuts in the abdominal musculature. The newest device that I've been playing with is something called radiofrequency liposuction. It's made by a company named Invasix. And in this device is an internal probe and an external probe, and it's bipolar radiofrequency, which means radiofrequency energy is coming from the lower probe to the upper probe, and it's causing fat cells to be disrupted due to a heat mechanism, but it also tightens the skin through heat, sort of similar to the laser liposuction device, although the radiofrequency people are saying that it's a little bit safer. I don't know. Time will tell. And that's why we're doing studies on all of these newer devices. So stay tuned to the Plastic Surgery channel and you'll learn all about these newer liposuction devices in times to come.